What's up guys? So we're gonna do a full day of eating today. So you guys can see what I'm eating on my prep. And the first meal right now is 45 grams of carbs from oats, 10 grams of peanut butter, and then a scoop of whey in there. And then this was two whole eggs, but I already ate one. Um, show you the protein I used. Um, in the morning, this is the protein I use with my first meal. Um, I'll probably switch to egg whites as I start to get hungrier. But uh, for right now, that protein powder is perfectly fine. Uh, Post-workout, I use a different one, but we'll go over that later. So I'm going to eat this, start getting moving on schoolwork for the day. Um, I'll probably go over my vitamin regimen as well. So stay tuned for that. All right, so I'm just going to quickly go through my daily vitamins and supplements that I take. This isn't going to be like in-depth on why I take each of them. Just a quick overview so you can get an idea. So we'll start here. Uh, probiotics, vitamin K2, magnesium. Vizzer is Leviathan Nutrition's like stress anti-cortisol product. Um, I actually sometimes pair this one. I do like half a serving of this and half a serving of the nootropic. I don't do a full serving of this because it's pretty strong for me. But these two combined work really good. So um, this one is an everyday thing. Uh, Ayer, I just actually posted a video going over this one. So go ahead and watch that if you haven't. But this is basically like the total health product right here. It's amazing. Uh, kidney supports, vitamin D3, because it is gloomy as hell out. If you can see, probably can't. Uh, three grams of fish oil. Tudka, Tudka is commonly used for like liver health, things like that, but it can also help with other things such as like digestion, and um, cholesterol, things like that. And then every morning, this is kind of, instead of like coffee recently, I've been doing a scoop of the ghost burn. It's got like some acetyl, uh, acetyl carnitine in there, some tyrosine in there, so it kind of helps me get a little bit more focus going into, straight into school in the morning. So that's been kind of like my go-to when I wake up instead of, iced coffee or anything like that but I'll probably start going back and forth again so that's my supplement regimen uh, about to head to jiu-jitsu right now and then I will show you guys what I eat afterwards all right so back up in my office studying for midterms and having my next meal which is 180 grams of salmon I apologize if it's kind of dark and you can't see 120 grams of jasmine rice and then like 60 grams of veggies with a little bit of sriracha over it we did that oh well, Emily did the salmon for me and she actually did it in like a um, little like Asian marinade thing and it is so good. No added like oil or anything like that, just like soy sauce, a bunch of different seasonings and things like that and it comes out amazing. So I'm gonna eat this and get back to work. All right, so uh, still doing the same thing, working on studying for midterms, but having my third meal. So we have 166 grams of chicken, 120 grams of rice, 33 grams of avocado, and then uh, like probably 50, 60 grams of bell pepper. So one tip I have, um, I like doing bell peppers because they di digest really easy, high in vitamin C. I'll get like the frozen pepper blend, and then I'll just throw that in with my meals. It's a lot easier than having to cut up bell peppers and keep them in the fridge and things like that. Sometimes I forget them in there and they go bad because I'm too lazy to cut them up and all that, but Getting frozen veggies, frozen fruits, that is like the key to my success. So, gonna have this. Uh, also, I got some Green Dragon hot sauce from Trader Joe's on top. If you have never tried that, strongly recommend it. It is delicious, and I put it. I can put it on everything. So, yeah, gonna eat this and keep studying. Right, post workout, uh, just finished cardio at home. I trained at the gym and then came home to do cardio. Um, post workout shake. I'm gonna do two scoops whey isolate, 90 grams of oats, and 100 grams of strawberries. And sometimes I'll actually cook the oats and mix in everything, all the fruit and protein. Uh, and then like today I'm eating kind of late and I'm behind on meals. So I'm just gonna blend it up and drink it and then uh, have my next meal in like an hour and a half or so. So I'm gonna get to that. Alright, uh, fifth meal of the day, we have 93.7 uh, ground beef, 
uh, some like homemade pico and then two tortillas and then I should probably have a little bit of ground beef on the side just because this probably isn't enough um, for my protein portion. And then some Trader Joe's taco sauce and Diet Coke. And then uh, one more meal after this and then that'll be it. 11 o'clock at night, so I'm about to just cook up my last meal, eat it, and then go right to bed. So, before I get started, uh, I was eating chicken breast, and then I'm gonna be cooking up uh, this brown rice penne pasta from Trader Joe's. I like this, their, the Trader Joe's gluten-free pastas uh, a lot better than most, because they only use brown rice, they don't do like corn rice mixture, so the texture is a little bit better in my opinion. Gonna have this, go to bed. Thank you for watching. Uh, obviously not too exciting. It's just a full day of eating some very boring foods. But uh, that's pretty much what I eat day to day. I have a little bit of lean tea and switching out different fruits and um, carb sources and things like that. So sometimes it's different, but overall that's kind of like the main meals I eat. And just all the supplements I take. Like I said, I'll probably do a different video going in depth on all the supplements I take and for what reason. They are, it's always changing. I do that video probably once a year. But um, yeah, if you have any questions about coaching or anything like that, link in the bio to my website, my Instagram. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching.